Hey guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. Behind me, we're gonna do a full walkthrough video on the CK10 series. We've done this in the past on the 2610, 3510, all the above. Um, but today I felt that this setup had some new features that we haven't made a video on. Um, and of course the CK10 series is, I'd say, Coyote's number one selling tractor right now and most Coyote dealers number one selling tractor right now. Um, whether it be the CK2610, which is right around 25 horsepower, the CK3510, which is behind me, um, or the CK4010, 35 and 40 horse. Um, so one thing I wanna first start off by explaining is the CK10 series, they are all the same tractor. So if you're looking to lift, you know, 1,830 pounds as the CK3510 or CK4010 does, don't go crazy and go and buy that CK4010 because it's gonna give you no more lift capacity than a CK2610. Now don't get me wrong, the CK35 or 4010 will have more um, ground power pulling implements, running a brush hog, it can run a wider brush hog, and up hills it'll perform a little bit more optimally. Um, but the 2610 weighs the same, or within 20 pounds at least, to the 35 horsepower and 40 horse, has the same size loader, the same size frame, the same size rear axle and rear end, the same size backhoe, all the same parts except for the engine. So again, don't go crazy and go buy that 35 and 40 horse because quite honestly, this could be a CK2610 right behind me and you wouldn't know it until we physically opened up the hood or saw the sticker on the side of the hood. Otherwise, they're gonna do the same thing side by side. So um, let's go over the CK10 series. Behind me exactly, I'll give you what this is. This is a CK3510 HST loader, KL4030 loaders, which is featured on all of the CK20 or CK10 series tractors with a 66 inch quick attach bucket and a KB2475L. So let's dig in and find a little bit more about these series tractors if you're interested. Um, definitely a great, great machine. So. 66 inch quick attach bucket they give the option for a 60 inch or a 66 nearly all of my customers are taking the 66 because it is the same price pretty much um it's got provisions on it to add a bolt on cutting edge that's a common option customers are deciding to add whether it be right at the time of purchase or later on um, so great option if you're ever wearing out your bucket you don't have to get out the welder and weld a new edge on you can physically just buy a new bolt on cutting edge the, the second option that is nice is this standard quick release skid steer style mounted bucket to, you know, to take on and off the bucket, just two mechanical levers, you undo both those, and you can back away and hook up the pallet forks, quick attach snow plow, grapple buckets, snow pushers, you name it, you can get it on the front of this. Um, in the industry, we're seeing right now a lot and a lot and a lot of customers buying a option that is known as a third function hydraulic setup or a third function um, joystick hydraulic control. Um, and this third function kit basically is a third set of hydraulic remotes to the front. So you initially come with two sets to the front, making four ports for the loader valve um, to operate all the loader controls. Now, if you have an attachment on the back, let's just use the example, a grapple bucket, right? The grapple bucket is like a bucket, but it has some type of piston and claw on the top. And you need to open and close that. And without that extra hydraulic function, you can't do that. So that's where a third function kit comes in and can let you operate another hydraulic function on the front end of the tractor. Um, kind of like on the older school tractors, hay tractors and stuff where you needed to spread the arms of a tether for haying or something like that. They needed rear remotes in the back of a tractor. Nowadays, for a lot of guys buying these compacts, they want this third function front hydraulic kit. So this option is something that I would say one in two tractors sold right now, or one in three tractors sold, we are installing. It's not the cheapest thing. It's not just $200 to add that option. So um, it is a price, something you wanna, you wanna factor into your budget of your tractor. Um, depending on the third function kit, the brand and stuff, it can really vary, um, but I'll comfortably say you know, depending on the brand and model and who makes that third function, it can be $600 all the way to like $1,500, depending on where you live, um, shipping cost, installation cost, brand, you name it, OEM versus aftermarket, all that stuff. So 
um, that, if that gives you an idea. Bucket level indicator. This is something standard. From the seat helps you see that our bucket's flush level with the ground. Um, great option standard that you won't find in all the competitors. Um, grill guard standard you won't find on every competitor's tractor, believe it or not, but it is there on ours. And you can fold it out of the way if you need to get at your hood area quite easily. All the loader pins on this tractor, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you those real quick. So greasing these pins, there's no external grease fittings that you're ever gonna break off. On all the Coyotes, they are always inner tube, which is basically like more construction grade equipment. They're inner tubed grease fittings, never gonna have to replace those. Really a slick design. Um, if you wanna take off the whole Coyote KL4030 loader, um, I do have a full video on that on a CK3510 SE cab. Feel free to watch that. It's about 18 minutes, 15 minutes long. Me doing it out here actually showing you what, how to do it. But um, basically, you will drop this down, lock it in place, um, drop your loader to the ground, pull a pin. So you'll drop that, pull the pin on both sides. So one of those, one of those on the same opposite sides, and then one pin on each side. Then you're going to disconnect your quick disconnects. Normally you have four. Today we have six just because of this third function kit we just went over. Um, but needless to say, once you do that, you're basically backing away. Loader can come on and off in five, 10 minutes tops. Really a slick design. I know most, most customers are leaving the loader on 95% of the time, but nice to know you can take it on and off. Um, tire choices on the CK10 series. You have industrial R4s like we see here which I would say is 90% of our sales in the CK10 series. The agricultural probably take up for, I'd say 5% and then 5% turf tires. Um, so check these out. They're probably the most common tire you'll see on tractors sold in this day and age. They are the number one tractor tire in my books just because they will not kill the lawn, um, but they will give you grip in mud when you need it. And they're pretty good in snow. Um, they're pretty good all around all terrain. And they got a thick rubber on them, so the ply, it, it's good, it lasts a long time. You're not gonna be replacing tires, whereas a turf tire, you get on some pavement or trap rock, they're, they're gonna wear out pretty quick. Um, this tractor would compare to your, basically your full frame compact tractor. Um, that's what this CK10 is. It's not a subcompact, it's not a small compact, it's a full size, normal compact tractor. Pretty much the most common size in the industry we see today. Uh, this would compare to an L2501 Kubota, Mahindra 15 or 1626 or 1533. Um, John Deere, I would look at a John Deere 3R series. A 3E series would be over a thousand pounds lighter than this tractor, so I wouldn't even push you to sh check that out because um, it wouldn't compare weight-wise. Um, but it, it's overall a good tractor for somebody that's got. 15, 20, 30, 40 acres, um, really can do a lot of work. All the hoods are, are, are steel, no plastic. Fenders, steel, floorboards, steel. Everything's pretty rugged built. There's not a lot of cheesiness going on with the build on this tractor. Um, we'll, we'll pop the hood on this and I'll show you underneath the hood real quick of this CK3510, real quick under here. So interstate battery, uh, MT34 is what we use here. Donaldson air filter, pretty simple, you know, easy to maintain, easy to access. You can clean out the radiator screen and the cooler screen just by pulling this screen right off there. Um, back there on a CK3510, this is our emission system back there. Um, can't really see a whole lot of it up close just because it's on the back side of the hood. Um, this would only be on the CK3510 and the 4010 that you have emissions. Um, so pretty simple design. It will regen about every I'd say 25 to 55 hours, generally, give or take. Sometimes it's longer than that. Um, there's a button on the dash, just comes on, automatic regen, pretty simple design. Really no issues at all with it. Um, over here on this side, we got basically all our service stuff. So engine oil filter, easy access, man. It is right there. Doesn't get any easier than that. Fuel filter, there's a self primer on the fuel filter. So if you ever run it out of fuel, you're not gonna be freaking out, having to prime this thing for hours. You can take that fuel filter on and off and change it. And it's a steel canister, so it lasts longer. Checking your engine oil, right on the side, easy access, not too far away. Um, changing the engine oil, it differs from the, the CK3510 or the CK2610 or the 4010. Um, 
35, 10, and 40, 10, it's right on the side of the engine. So I do suggest getting a very skinny uh, funnel to pop right in the fill port right there. On the 26, 10, you can do it from the side or the top of the engine. Um, hydraulic pump, um, not a whole lot else going on over here. Throttle cable and stuff, mechanical stuff there. Front axle fluid fill, pretty, pretty simplistic. I mean, check this, I check this every 10, 15 hours of use. Just make sure you got some oil on your fingers, just like that there. And all right, we know we're good to go. Um, we're not low on oil in the front end. So pretty simple design on that. Uh, drain plugs are right on the bottom of each left and right hub. Any freeze overflow, radiator, all the normal stuff any diesel engine's gonna come with. So that's, that's kind of under the hood now. This third function kit, I wanna talk more about this. This is a Coyote OEM kit right now. They have their own cased in place right here. Really rugged design, their own valve in there. Everything's kind of hidden, tucked away, not worried about hurting it. Coyote third function kit comes with its own provision handle that gets replaced from the standard handle with a kit, a new handle piece that comes off with lines going down and going through. Um, one button would open, one button would close the grapple, one button would angle the plow left, one, plow, one button would angle it right. Pretty simple design. And at the same time, you can be using your other functions, you know? So kind of a nice third function kit that they make there. Uh, as well as your fender mounted joystick, not every company. You look at the Kubota L series, standard L series. It is still a reach out joystick. So more value for your money. I'm not kicking the other orange guys in the shins, but this 100% is more comfortable. I don't care what brand you buy. This is a nice feature. Um, the next nice feature I'm gonna talk about and, and boast about on Coyote CK10 series are these side-by-side -side hydrostatic pedals. They are probably the best in the industry in my opinion. Um, a lot of companies are switching to this. We're not seeing everyone do it yet. Um, Mahindra still has some rockers. Kubota uses their treadle pedal or rocker pedal, which basically means you're gonna be cramping up your foot all day long going forward and reverse. This, you have more floor, floor space and they're side by side synchroed together. Really a nice design. Uh, parking brake right there. Uh, key, throttle, lights, horn, all that jazz is on the dash here. Um, loader lockout mechanism, really a nice design. So you can lock this loader in case you're hoisting a log in the air and you don't want somebody to come over here and slam your loader to the ground and hit you, you can lock it up right there. Again, a really nice little feature they threw in there. The next thing that we'll talk about is more value for your money in this seat. This seat is really a comfortable seat for what tractor it is. It is a hydraulic compression seat, so you can adjust the compression in it and make it more spongy or less spongy, um, depending on who's sitting in that seat, you'll see there. So I can adjust that, you can adjust height, you can adjust forward and reverse too. Um, you can also add armrest to the seat, Another nice option. You can add side mirrors if somebody desires side mirrors. You can also add a floor mat. Um, those are all some add-on accessories. PTO turning on and off is over here. This happens to be a three-range hydrostatic, which all sizes, all tractors this size are three-range. So low, medium, and high. Two and four-wheel drive is a mechanical in and out. Diff lock is a mechanical in and out. I want you to pay attention to another little thing that's more value for the money. One being the floorboard layout, the hump on here in the middle, and how open this floorboard is. Every other manufacturer practically in this um, standard series compact tractor, a lot of them have a big old hump in the middle. This is, this, although this has a little hump, um, it is very flat and very open, easy on and off for the customer. I really appreciate that. Um, I, if I didn't already mention, you can get a floor mat. That's probably another very common option added to this tractor. Um, Foldable roll bar. So if you need to get it under a garage or something and this is too high, you can pull the pin on each side, fold it down, you're good to go. Um, fuel tanks right in the back here, I believe, don't hold me to it. It's like 11 point something or, or, or nine or 10, somewhere in that range gallons in this fuel tank. I wanna say it's nine. The hydraulic system, it's 11.7 gallons per minute on all the CK10 series models. That's what it is. Um, Standard category one, three point hitch back here. Uh, draw bar standard, full frame coyote design backhoe. 
really a nice rugged design. You can get this tractor with or without the backhoe. Today we are featuring it with. When you get the backhoe, we set it up here at Orchard Hill and most dealers do set it up this way with two sets of rear remotes. One being that the backhoe is plugged into and the other being those black two ports right there where my fingers were over there. Those are the other set of rear remotes. Um, one is a spring valve, one is a detent. Um, they have different purposes. The detent happens to be good for the backhoe because we need to constantly send flow to this backhoe to operate it. Um, taking on and off the backhoe, I also did a video on that is on our YouTube channel and probably is about eight or nine minutes or so. And we have it on and off in that time. Um, not an amazing video, but gets the point across. We show it, how it's done, um, step by step, simple. So for you guys doing it for the first time, check that video out. It'll help you. Very simple, easy design. They also have stomp pads to add to your outriggers, either rubber or metal. That is once in a while an option customers are adding to these backhoes. Um, as we uh, come around here, I'm gonna point out some really nice features about this Coyote backhoe. So, three or one of, the, one of the features, but th in three different areas are the locks. A lock for the boom to lock that down when you're not using it. A lock on the side for the outriggers on both sides. So those outriggers don't fall in the Corvette in the garage when you're not using the tractor because they will sag even though they're brand new unless they're locked up. Uh, most manufacturers don't offer that as a standard feature. Uh, just overall, you got another locking pin for this so the backhoe can't sway left and right. Really nice feature for trucking it. You got a step on this side to get in and out and on the other side, seat, separate seat. I really do appreciate the separate seat. I cannot stand a flip around seat on these tractors. So um, whoever's telling you out there that a flip around seat is easier than a separate seat, they're lying to you, trust me. It takes you two seconds to hop off and hop on. Flipping around a seat, you still gotta hop off, then you gotta flip it around, then you gotta hop back on, it's just more work. Um, all right, let's, let's talk more about down here. This is the KB2475 end of the boomstick here. We have a 12 inch backhoe bucket on here. This happens to be one of their newest buckets. We just received shipment of these a couple weeks ago. The new buckets basically have a bolt on tooth setup. Um, what that means is if you break them, um, you can put a new one on and just bolt through it. And kind of like the cutting edge on the front bucket. So that's a really nice feature. A lot of construction equipment, some bigger stuff has that feature. Um, guys tend to like that. The old buckets had squeeze on tooth design on the back house, which was fine. That worked great too. Um, but there was a high demand. Customers wanted the bolt on um, replaceable teeth. So they went ahead and did that for 2019, 2020. So that's great. Um, thumb kit. This thumb kit has been a phenomenal seller. Practically every backhoe now I sell with this thumb kit. It's a mechanical thumb kit. It's not hydraulic. Um, you pull a pin, lock it down in place, and then you use the bucket to slap something against the thumb kit um, and hold it in a, a rock or stick or whatever you want to call it. Um, this thumb kit's really cheap in my opinion for what it is. Um, most thumb kits out there that I've ever seen are $600 to $1,200 and this ends on the lower end of that. Um, so that's always nice. Um, and the one thing I will say are some of these options, aka the third function in the thumb kit, right now we're seeing a delay on getting them here because every dealer is selling out of these and every dealer is calling. Like today, just alone, I've ordered nearly half a dozen of these thumbs and half a dozen of the third function kits for this series alone. Um, so you can imagine in the industry what's going on right now. These two items are very desirable. So plan ahead. Don't wait until the last day before you want the tractor and expect to order a thumb kit for your tractor because who knows, it could be on back order for two, you know, two weeks, two months. You never know what's going to happen. Um, what else can I say? This machine's going to have a six year warranty um, as does pretty much every Coyote under the RX series. So um, that would cover engine, transmission, front axle, and no hour limitations, which is awesome. Um, one of the only companies in the industry that has no hour limitations. So again, I just wanted to point out some of the really nice features. This machine I'm finding to be really desirable um, for a couple different buyers. And those buyers would be, um, one being landscapers. I have seen the huge, the bit largest amount of interest lately in, with landscape companies 
buying this machine or a CK2610. Um, in the last month, I've probably sold of this setup, a loader backhoe CK10 series, probably about four or five just to landscape companies in our state, Massachusetts here. So very popular, everybody's really, really happy with it. Um, nice design and does a good job for landscapers. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of the setup. Um, the other guys that I'm seeing are, are homeowners, large homeowners, large property owners. I, I call them uh, weekend warriors, hobby farmers. They got anywhere from eight to 40 acres and they're not fully farming, but they need something to do a little bit of hobby farming on their property, take care of the animals, um, clear out the woods, keep their trails clean, their lawn manicured, all that stuff, snow plow, whatever. This'll do it all. All right, guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. I appreciate you guys watching this full walk around on the CK 10 series tractors. They're available in pretty much any setup like we see today. You can get front snow blowers, backhoes, loaders, plows, grapple buckets, mowers on the rear, not a mid mount mower, that is not an option. Um, standard transmission or hydrostatic. Hydrostatic is more desired for our customers, but um, standard is an option. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've got any questions on this series. This is by far the hottest selling tractor that I will sell here at Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. We're located on Route 9 in Belchertown, Massachusetts. Give me a call at 413-253-5456 or visit us on our website at www.orchardhillsales.com. Thank you, guys.